Today, we're introducing a brand new way of thinking about numbers, something that completely redefines division and modular arithmetic. This is called the Zero Modular System, or ZMS for short. But before we dive into how it works, let's talk about the big problem with traditional modular arithmetic and why we needed ZMS in the first place. The limitation of traditional modular arithmetic. In the way modular arithmetic is normally taught, you always need to work within a fixed modulus, a number that sets the rules for all calculations. For example, let's take modular arithmetic with the number 5. In this system, if you add 7 to anything, it behaves just like adding 2 because 7 is 2 more than 5. We write that as 7 is congruent to 2 modulo 5. That means when dividing numbers, we only look at what remains after taking away multiples of 5. But here's where the problems start. 1. You always need a fixed modulus. If you change the modulus, the entire system changes. This makes calculations inflexible and tied to a specific number. 2. Division doesn't always work. In modular arithmetic, division is only possible when a special number called the modular inverse exists, but sometimes these inverses don't exist at all. 3. Solving equations can be impossible. Since division is not always allowed, simple equations can have no solution in modular arithmetic, and this is why we created ZMS, Zero Modular System. It removes the need for a fixed modulus and lets us solve any equation without worrying about modular inverses. Let me show you how it works. Section 1, Understanding ZMS. In ZMS, we rethink how division and equality work. Rule 1, self-division equals 0. In standard math, if you divide any number by itself, you get 1. For example, 3 divided by 3 is 1. But in zero modular system, we define it differently. Instead, we say that dividing a number by itself gives 0. For example, 3 divided by 3 is 0. 5 divided by 5 is 0. 100 divided by 100 is 0. Why? Because when you divide a number by itself, there is nothing left over, so the remainder is zero. Rule two, finding valid divisions. Since dividing a number by itself gives zero, we need another way to divide numbers while keeping equations true. Instead of asking, can I divide by this number? We ask, what number should I divide by to get one? For example, in ZMS, if we divide three by two, we actually get one. So if we need to divide both sides of an equation by 3, we don't divide by 3 directly. Instead, we divide by 2, because that's what gives us 1. This allows us to simplify equations correctly without needing a modular inverse. Section 2, Solving Equations Using ZMS. Example 1, solving a simple equation. Let's solve the equation 3 times x equals 1. In normal math, you would divide both sides by 3. But in ZMS, dividing by 3 gives 0, which is useless. Instead, we look for a number that makes 3 behave like 1 when we divide. That number is 2, because 3 divided by 2 is 1. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 2. Now we have 3 divided by 2 times x equals 1 divided by 2. Since 3 divided by 2 is 1 in ZMS, this simplifies to x equals 1 divided by 2. And that's our answer. Example 2, solving a quadratic equation. Now let's try something a bit harder. Let's solve 2 times x squared equals 1. To simplify, we need to get rid of the 2. In ZMS, dividing 2 by 2 gives 0, which we don't want. Instead, we find a number that makes 2 behave like 1. That number is 2 thirds, because 2 times 2 thirds is 1. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 2 thirds. Now we get 2 thirds times 2 times x squared equals 2 thirds times 1. Since 2 times 2 thirds is just 1, this simplifies to x squared equals 2 thirds. To find x, we take the square root of both sides, which gives x equals plus or minus the square root of 2 thirds. And that's our answer. Let's check by plugging this value back into our original equation. If we square x, we get 2 thirds. Multiplying by 2 gives us 4 thirds. And in ZMS, 4 thirds is just 1, so our solution is correct. Section 3. Why ZMS is revolutionary. As you can see, the zero modular system makes equation solving much more flexible than traditional modular arithmetic. No fixed modulus. You don't need to pick a specific number for calculations. Universal division rule. Division always works, unlike traditional modular arithmetic. And equations always have solutions. Unlike traditional systems, ZMS never makes an equation unsolvable. This opens up a whole new way of thinking about numbers. That's all for today's introduction to Zero Modular System. If you love mathematical innovations, hit like. If you have questions or insights, drop a comment below. 
And if you want to see more groundbreaking math, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.